All right. I'm going to make a color wheel out of this. This is about as pure a red as you can get. Ditto with blue. Ditto with yellow. Um, colors are minerals. These are our three primary colors. And I'm going to have some fun with this. I think I'm just going to staple these onto the paper plate. And go from there. So, in case I did not have the camera recording when I did this yesterday, here are three signatures to go inside a completed little hardcover book. The spine is quite strong. It's reinforced with the opposite side of the box underneath here and then also has the spine of the second box there. And the flaps are tucked in. So that makes it good and strong in order to support the pull of the rubber bands. This is the size of the rubber band that goes on here to hold the pages in, to hold the signatures in. So. This is how it goes. You just put on the rubber band for the first signature. It's got a lot of stretch to it. And you put it on neatly. Make sure it's flat. And try to get the stretch equal on both sides. You'll notice one side is usually a little tighter than the other. Okay, so that's your first signature. It's going to go there. And here are the three signatures right here. There's the first one, magazine picture, stripes, I mean lined paper, uh, Wagner, music paper, uh, graph paper, and local map paper. And each page is folded individually and then put together and I'm making 10 or 12 of these at once I've, I had to empty out some good and plenty into a bag and I still have four unopened boxes okay there goes the first signature very simple there it is whoops then of course we want it neat Flatten it out, make sure the rubber band is over the flap, and there it is. It's a book. With pages. There's a second signature. I'm trying to put a little something extra and different in each one. These things are fun. Cool whip lids. Okay, the next signature. Here's the little rubber band. The rubber band is a, not even as big around as Good and Plenty logo. Okay. Nice and flat. Turned over when I took my finger out. Put them close together. Make sure that the rubber band is flat and on the fold. These were the extra things I put in after I flipped 
through these once, and I'm, I think I, ha I have more things, too. Uh, uh, stick on pink pearls. And emeralds. And then I got some little tiny, tiny stickers. Really so cute. No, they're better than cute. They're not real cartoony. They're very nice little stickers at uh, Michael's in the bins as you walk out the door. And then I have these little birds, too. And they should be glued on with a white glue. So maybe I should glue them on wherever I decide as a surprise in the book. Oh, and another thing that I did was I found some, well, I've been saving my CBS bags because they have a nice little crinkle to them. They're really nice paper. And they actually are six inches across when you cut the bottoms off and flatten them. Not Don't open them up, but just flatten them. And then you can put a fold here and a little bit under two and a half inches, and then you have um, tuck spots. With those. Okay, so this is the last signature to go in. I'm going to just put a map in the middle of all of them. And I think you saw the first one, I just put the rubber band on without the signature in it. This one, I'm going to put the signature and then the rubber band. Doesn't matter. That one feels real soft, like it might be a bigger band or something. It's still okay. I'm just saving the bigger bands for bigger books. My um, true junk junk journal is the size of a Arm & Hammer soapbox. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm doing this off camera. Keeping them flat extends their life. And again, if the bands wear out, just tie, tie them where they broke, and that'll last you a while. And it's time to look for a new rubber band, though. Those are a little bit close. That way we can see the letters through them a little too, like a fence. So that's another book that's pretty much done. Yeah. These things actually come on little strips of glue so that you can take a whole strip out and put it on something, which I figured out after I pulled them one off. So I don't know how well these stick. They probably should be glued down, but what I've been doing is just... Flapping the little bit of glue back over. There's already glue on it. And then sticking it down as an example. Because, you know, I've watched a lot of videos to figure out what to do with this. I don't know if I'd know what to do with a book like this if somebody gave it to me. But just to, for example, okay, now there's this. Well, you might want to put something over that. Oh. None of these things look particularly good, but there's something in here. For example, something like this. You could glue on. That doesn't look so great, or like a, a name label. 
And you still have this then at the bottom to cover, but. So those are just to show if there's something on there that you don't really care for, then you can just put something else on it. Your book. Or even... It's kind of garish. Anyway, or okay. Well, eleven, eleven. Well, 